In today's episode, I would like to show you the installation of uh, this uh, trim rings for the auxiliary lights. And uh, if you are wondering how that's gonna look on my bike, please uh, stick around and I will show you what I got. Here we go. I have to say, I was uh, super excited to install the uh, headlight ring from uh, Harley Davidson that was actually in black. Unfortunately, Harley doesn't really offer this uh, trim rings in black. So what I did, I actually purchased the kit that was from, and uh, then I contacted the local company called the Powder House, uh, and they actually helped me to do the powder coating on this product. And I can tell you the quality of the powder coating that was done on this is truly outstanding. If you are looking for the shop to help with your uh, powder coating needs, I will have to say the powder house is definitely the place to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the link in the description below of this video. So if you are uh, wondering where you can get the job done the right way, you can contact these guys and I'm pretty sure that they will help you out. I'm gonna take you to the bike right now and we will install this product. I mean, this is really simple installation and uh, we will be able to see if this is maybe something uh, that you would like to do on your bike, but I can tell you it's gonna look awesome. Let's take a look at our kit. Uh, this is the kit number 69732-05. And as you can see, you always have this nice instruction from Harley Davidson. And uh, yeah, this one is really simple. It's just a uh, one pager. And uh, as I mentioned, I already powder coated the trim rings. So maybe we'll take this one on the side. And what you will receive in the box will be those uh, two trim rings and uh, those uh, foam inserts that uh, will install in here, but they are actually coming in with the inserts already installed, but since I powder coat this product, I have to remove them. You will have two screws. You will just need a Phillips screwdriver in order to mount this on the bike. So super easy. So let's start with like putting this uh, foam gaskets inside. So you have this like a uh, chrome piece in here. So we'll place it like this and you will just push it in. And right now we'll do the same thing with this one. We're gonna go to the bike right now. I will just use the screwdriver, remove the old rings, and I will place the lights in here, and that should allow us to mount this on the bike really quickly. Let's get this uh, trim ring removed. I actually loosened this uh, screw, so it should be really quickly on this side. And obviously this procedure is identical on both sides. So we just remove this nut. So here's our screw. We'll have to use the longer screws because I actually tried the short one, but yeah, that didn't really work out well. So right now we'll be able to remove this original trim, trim ring. And what I would recommend that you will disconnect this so it's a little bit easier to work for you. Let me just pull this out. So this is what I would recommend that you will do. Actually, since I have the black bike, I noticed that this uh, shiny part of this gasket will not work for me. It will work for you if you have the bike that is chrome. Mine is black, so I actually shifted this rubber just so the black piece is showing on the bottom. And what you will do, I'm gonna use the Windex and I will just spray this gasket because it will be way easier to insert, insert this light. And yeah, this is my longer screw. So what I will do right now, I will take this light and I will position this inside of the trim ring. Pay attention, where is the top for your light? Just so you don't make the mistake and yeah, let's just put this thing in here. You can just open it up a little bit. It will be a little bit easier for you. So just be gentle. And you can like twist it. That will also help a little bit. Now we'll place this. So let's put this one in here. Make sure that this ridge is on the bottom. Push this in much as you can and actually I figured that it is easier to install this screw right now 
because it will still open this frame enough so you can easily put it on the bike. So let me just put this one in and let's see, I will be here. So I will go from this side. And here is my tiny knot in here. So I'm gonna just start this thread. Just so you catch like few threads in here. Verify that everything is the way you want it. So it looks like in my case it should be fine. What I will do right now, I'm gonna connect this back and make sure that everything is operating properly because how you put this matters. All right, it looks like this is all good right now. So yeah, this will be the last step. Make sure that you just push this in really nicely. Twist this cable a little bit. Make sure that everything is sitting properly. Position this like this. And what you will have to do, you have to apply a little bit of pressure just to make sure that the stream ring will lock properly. Verify that the light is straight so you can always do tiny adjustment. So it looks like in my case, this is pretty good right now. So now I will hold this pressure in here, hold this knot with my pinky and just tie this up. As you can see, this gap is closing really nicely. Verify that everything is nice and tight. Yeah, it looks like it's holding pretty good. And yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, this space in here is completely gone. Unfortunately, this one is so open, but you can do nothing about this. But yeah, this one is closing properly, really nice. So obviously you have to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm not gonna waste your time to show you the opposite side, but as you can see, that was uh, fairly easy. So check this out. This is the final product. I think that it really enhanced the look of the bike. As you can see, it extends this uh, front light and this uh, auxiliary lights. I think that this is really outstanding addition for anybody looking for a little bit different look of your bike. As always, uh, I'm really curious about your opinion and I'm wondering what do you think about this upgrade and uh, what do you think about the look of the bike after the installation. As uh, always, you can put the comments below in the video and uh, share your opinions because I'm always really curious and I always uh, look for the opportunity to learn from the community on our channel. So this is uh, actually everything that I have for you guys today. Please like and subscribe. You have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen and let me know what you think and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much and bye bye.